enjoying the rain today. I know that I'm excited to go out there and do some more puddle jumping and some more mud playing. I actually, after I filmed the story time video last week, do you remember watching that? We talked about mud kitchens. You guys visited my mud kitchen and we made some food. Um, after we did that, I was like, oh, I wish that I had read one of my favorite, favorite books all about mud. And we had looked for it and looked for it and looked for it. And then finally, I found it in the back of my closet. It's such a good book and I can't wait to share it with you. It's called The Piggy in the Puddle. It's a really silly book. And it also has a lot of rhyming words, words that sound like each other. And it also has a really good rhythm. So it's pretty handy for reading fast. But I'm gonna read it regular speed at first, and then I'm gonna see if I can read it super fast. So first, regular, and then fast. The Piggy in the Puddle. Words by Charlotte Pomerantz. Pictures by James Marshall. You see some hints about the story on the front cover. There's definitely a piggy, and there's definitely a puddle. There's also a balloon with a butterfly. I wonder if we'll see either of those things inside the book. The piggy in the puddle. The piggy in the puddle. <laughs> she's got a little bucket. I know that I used a bucket for my mud kitchen. Maybe she's gonna do some cooking. For Gabrielle, Daniel, and Jennifer from Charlotte Pomerantz. For Eloise Clifton from James Marshall. Ooh, look at this. There's a little arrow, a sign in the shape of an arrow. That means it's pointing that way. It says, to the puddle. This isn't part of the book, but there's a little bit of brown paint on here. I think it's from one time when we read this story at story time, and we were also painting with brown paint. Maybe painting some mud. See the piggy, see the puddle. See the muddy little puddle. See the piggy in the middle of the muddy little puddle. See her dawdle, see her diddle in the muddy, muddy middle. See her waddle, plump and little, in the very merry middle. She's so cute. Beezer, do you like this story? Did you hear the meow? That was Beatrix. Meowing, meowing. See her daddy, fuddy duddy, fuddy duddy, fuddy duddy. Don't you get all muddy, 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 muddy. You are much too plump and little to be in the muddy middle. Mud is squishy, mud is squashy, mud is oh so squishy, squashy. What you need is lots of soap. But the piggy answered, Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy. Nope. Here's a little speech bubble. Remember that means that the piggy's talking, it says, nope. And right here it says, soap on this bar of soap and soap on this soap box. See her mommy, fiddle faddle, fiddle faddle, fiddle faddle. Get out of there, skedaddle daddle, daddle daddle daddle. You are much too plump and little to be in the muddy middle. Mud is mushy, mud is squishy, mud is oh so mushy, squishy. What you need is lots of soap. But the piggy answered, mushy, squishy, mushy, squishy, nope. <laughs> you can't see little piggy, but you can see her words. It says, That mama is drinking. It's kind of like a little hint about story time this week, actually. See her brother, silly Billy, silly Billy, silly Billy. Do not waddle willy nilly, willy nilly, willy nilly. You are much too plump and little to be in the muddy middle. Mud is oofy, mud is poofy, mud is also oh oofy, poofy. What you need is lots of soap. <laughs> But 
the baby answer. Poofy, poofy, oofy, poofy. Nope. <laughs> Can you see she's crossing her arms? She's like, no way. I do not need any soap. I just want mud. Now, they all stood in a huddle right beside the muddy puddle. And they looked into the puddle. What a muddy, muddy muddle. There was Piggy, plump and little, in the very merry middle. She was waddling. She was paddling. She was diving way down dairy. She was wiggling. She was giggling. She was very, very merry, said the mother. Little Piggy, you have made me very mad, said the father. Little Piggy, you have made me very sad. Little Piggy, said the brother, you are very, very bad, said the Piggy. Squishy, squashy, mooshy, squishy, very bad. <laughs> dear, oh dear, said Piggy's mother, what's a mother pig to do? She thought and thought and thought and thought and then of course she knew. She said, I bet my feet get wet and jumped in too. Can you hear Beatrix still meowing? He really wants to go outside or he thinks he wants to go outside. But I know when he gets out in the rain today, he is not gonna wanna be out there. See two piggies in the puddle, in a muddy little puddle. See the piggy and her mommy in the muddy little puddle. Me oh my, said Piggy's father, what's a father pig to do? He thought and thought and thought and thought, and then of course, he knew. He said, I bet my tail gets wet, and jumped in too. <laughs> I love how he's kind of getting ready to dive right in. And here's our little butterfly friend again. See three piggies in the puddle, in the muddy little puddle. See mommy, daddy, piggy in the muddy little puddle. Boo hoo hoo, cried Piggy's brother. Whatever shall I do? He thought, but not for very long, because of course he knew. He held his nose and yelled, here goes, and jumped in too. <laughs> This looks like a very happy piggy family. I'm glad they figured out that pigs love mud. <laughs> See four piggies in the puddle, in the muddy little puddle. See the piggies in the middle of the muddy little puddle. See them diddle, big and little, in the very merry middle. See the daddy, mud is squishy, but is also squishy squashy. So the mummy, Mud is mushy, mud is also mushy, squishy, said the brother. Mud is oofy, mud is also oofy, poofy. This little balloon says, Clyde Soap. Said the piggy, squishy, squishy, mushy, squishy, oofy, poofy, indeed, said the little piggy. I think we need some soap. But the other piggies answered, Oofy poofy nope. <laughs> All three are saying nope. So they all dove way down dairy and were very, very merry. <laughs> Look at that. The brother piggy is all the way upside down. He is really diving way down. Oh, and the Papa Piggy, it looks like he filled his little Fez hat with some mud and he's dumping it on his own head. All the pigs that I have known for real really love to be pretty clean, but they do love mud. I think it just feels so good on their skin. In the hot summer, that's how they cool off. And these piggies are no different. They clearly love them some mud. <laughs> Hi, Birdie. Birdie's trying to meow at my mom right now who's filming. And he's asking, can I please go outside? 
We'll probably let them out in a second and say, see, you don't want to be outside. And then they'll come in, but we'll have to dry them off with a towel. They really don't like the rain, but they think they, they want to go outside because they don't really understand. They're so silly. <laughs> All right. Hey, do you remember what I said I was going to do? After we read it one time regular, I'm going to try and read it really fast. Remember, this book has such a good rhythm. It's kind of like a song, the way that it reads. And it feels good to read it fast because that rhythm is so powerful. The Piggy in the Puddle, words by Charlotte Pomerantz, pictures by James Marshall. Here we go, to the puddle. I need to take some deep breaths. Will you take some deep breaths with me? See the puddle, see the muddy little puddle, see the piggy in the middle of the muddy little puddle, see, puddle, see her doddle, see her diddle in the muddy, muddy middle, see her waddle plump and little in the very, very middle. One page down. Here we go. See your daddy, fuddy, daddy, fuddy, daddy, fuddy, daddy, don't you get all muddy, 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 muddy. You are much too plump and little to be in the muddy middle, but it's squishy, but it's squashy, but it's oh so squishy, squashy. What you need is lots of soap, but the piggy answered squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy. See her mommy fiddle faddle fiddle faddle fiddle faddle came out of there skedaddle daddle 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 you are much too plump and little to be in the muddy middle mud is mushy mud is squishy mud is also mushy squishy what you need is lots of soap but the piggy answered mushy squishy mushy squishy nope <sighs> see her brother silly billy silly billy silly billy do not waddle willy nilly willy nilly willy nilly you are much too plump and little to be in the muddy middle mud is oofy mud is poofy mud is also oofy poofy what you need is lots of soap <gasps> He answered, oofy, poofy, oofy, poofy, nope. Now they all stood in a huddle right beside the muddy puddle and they looked into the puddle. What a muddy, muddy muddle. There was Piggy Plump and Little in the very merry middle. She was waddling, she was paddling, she was diving way down there. She was wiggling, she was giggling, she was very, very merry. Said the mother, little Piggy, you have made me very mad. Said the father, little Piggy, you have made me very sad. Little Piggy, said the brother, you are very, very bad. Said the Piggy, squishy, squishy, mooshy, squishy, very bad. <laughs> Dear, oh dear, said Piggy's mother, what's a mother pig to do? She thought and thought and thought and thought, and then of course she knew. She said, I bet my feet get wet and jumped in too. <gasps> See, three piggies in the puddle in the muddy little puddle. Oh, I skipped a page. <gasps> I was going too fast. <gasps> See, two piggies in the puddle in the muddy little puddle. See the piggy and her mommy in the muddy little puddle. Me oh my, said Piggy's father, what's a father pig to do? He thought and thought and thought and thought, and then of course he knew. He said, I bet my tail gets wet and jumped in too. See three piggies in the puddle in the muddy little puddle. See the mommy daddy piggy in the muddy little puddle. Boo hoo, cried Piggy's brother. Whatever shall I do? He thought, but not for very long, because of course he knew. He held his nose and he held your goes and jumped in too. See four piggies in the puddle in the muddy little puddle. See the piggies in the middle of the muddy little puddle. See them diddle big and little in the very merry middle. Said the daddy, mud is squishy, mud is also squishy, squashy. Said the mommy, mud is mushy, mud is also mushy, squashy. Said the brother, mud is oofy, mud is also oofy, poofy. Said the piggy, squishy, squashy, mushy, squishy, oofy, poofy, indeed. Said the little piggy, I think we need some soap. But the other piggies answered, oofy, poofy, nope. So they all dove way down dairy and were very, very merry. <laughs> Now that we read that book, let's sing a song that we like to do really fast. Just like with the book, let's do it regular speed one time and then really fast the next time. I'm kind of comfortable here, so I don't think I'm gonna blast off, but you can blast off if you want to. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two.
two, one, blast off! And let's do it one more time, super, super fast. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! All right, so I want to tell you about what we're going to do this week at Storytime. We have something very special. Ooh, I'm sitting next to my Heart Rock collection right now. What do you think? That's a pretty good heart-shaped rock, isn't it? Do you collect any rocks like that? I actually have this on top of my teacup right here so that the kitties wouldn't try and eat what's inside of it. You would think that there would be tea inside this teacup, but there's actually not. There is a teeny tiny little scone for a tea party. We're going to have a tea party this week, really truly. I'm going to have a tea party here, and I hope that you'll maybe have some tea with me at your house. And you can also make these scones. I know last time that we had a tea party at the library, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas said, Anna, will you please give us this yummy recipe for these scones that you brought in? And I said, sure. And then I'm pretty sure that I forgot to do that. But guess what? I'm going to share it with you now. So if you want to make some scones and have them ready for our tea party, you could do that. That's okay. You can just have pretend scones too. You could also have pretend tea, but you're welcome to make yourself a pot of tea. Or if you just, if you don't really like tea, you could just have some warm water and some honey or maple syrup mixed in. When I go to a tea party, I like to get fancy. So I'm going to be doing some dressing up. So if you want to come to this tea party, this story time tea party, you can also do some dress up too. You might just want to have it ready and we'll get fancy together. All right. Well, I hope I see you at story time. But remember, I, you can see me, you can hear me, but I really can't see you and hear you. So if you do get dressed up, if you have some tea, or even if you don't, I hope that you'll send me a picture because I've been, I've been getting some pictures on my email and I am so happy to see you guys watching at home and it makes me feel like you're right here with me, which I, it just fills my heart up with love. So I hope I see you at story time and uh, yeah, we'll talk soon.